You are now tuned in to BFTV Buffalo Fanatics. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again. Whether to serve you with some news, some analysis, and my thought process all mixed up into one. Check this out. The Jets have thrown a wrench into this whole situation, right? We thought we were good sitting pretty at 12 and we had all the cards in our hands. Now the, the whole deck is on the floor and all of a sudden something just passed right by us and that was the Jets. So the Jets clearly are not playing games and they wanna be able to take care of business early without having any distractions of knowing can we do this can we do that are the bills thinking this are the bills thinking that so they said bump that let's just make this thing happen right now and let's just take care of business and jump to number three now the real question is should the bills be panicking i don't think so and i'm here to clear this up for all bills fans thinking that sky is falling on us at this point i think we are in a prime position and let me explain to you why the bills currently have nine picks in this draft we are chilling right now so most people want to say hey but the jets just jumped to three they're gonna grab the quarterback that we want first of all do we even know what quarterback we want you ask the fan base it's muddy waters because everybody wants their guy but do we really know what bean and mcdermott want because they could be sitting chilling saying we're good. We know who we want. We want Rudolph. And we're making all these guys go. We, we want Lamar Jackson. We want Josh Allen. We want, we want Rosen. Who knows who they want? The point I'm trying to make is this. We're sitting in a position of strength, believe it or not. And I'll explain to you how. We were sitting at 21st and 22nd in the first round just a few weeks ago. We were all contemplating on how are we going to trade up into the top 10 to even have an opportunity to pick the big six to pick one of the big six so what does bean do bean starts making movements starts making phone calls he's making you know what i'm saying he's sending texts and emails they're all in a group chat just chatting it up right so he strikes a deal with cincinnati since he says all right i'll give you my 12 you give me cordy i'll take his contract you got ourselves a deal boom first deal done he hangs up the phone so now we are sitting at 12 and 22 a great position of strength we are now that much closer to positioning ourselves to get the guy we want now here's the twist if we sat at 21 and 22 we would have been picking whatever is left of the, of the litter you know what i'm saying so at this point moving up to 12 we're in actually a position of strength and here's how the giants are picking at two the giants right now have five picks in this draft one can say that they could use a few out of the picks to fill the holes on the on their team i mean they just went three and 13. you know they got some things to fill running back being one of them this draft is pretty deep in terms of running back i can name you two right now that potentially could go in the first or could easily go in the second Geis and Michelle. Just the two on the top of my head. I've seen the, the Giants with the mock draft of going Rosen at two. Orlando Brown in the second round. And Sunday Michelle in the third. That's just the mock draft. So they may just stay at two. So let's just say they do. Then we move up to Denver. Denver's got Case Keenum. If Case Keenum is their guy, they might be willing to entertain some phone calls. Here's where the Bills come in when they move up to 12. Yes or no? Is it easier for the Denver Broncos to trade out of the fifth pick to move down or move up to 12? Absolutely. Would it have been a conversation to have to see if they even move up to 22? Hell no. You are not going to lose that many spots you're not going to lose that many spots to go from 5 to 21 and 22 even though you gain 
two picks. You're not gonna, that's a lot of spots to move. What does Bean think? He says, you know what? I need to move ahead of certain teams that I think might be wanting a quarterback. Ravens being one of them, because you know, Flacco, my man is hit and miss. He's got his days where he could be good. He's got his days where he, he could be doo-doo, right? Then you got the Cardinals. God knows Cardinals need a quarterback. You know they need a quarterback. They can't just sit on Sam Bradford and Glennon. Number three, and the Chargers. Chargers have an aging Phillip Rivers. So what does the Bills do? They jump ahead of the Chargers, they jump ahead of the Cardinals, and they jump ahead of the Ravens. Those are the three, three teams that are somewhat in a, in a QB needy position. And then we've got the Miami Dolphins. So when Denver is looking potentially to trade out and accumulate some picks, easier to go to the team with A, nine picks, B, at the 12th spot. Moving only six to seven spots is ideal. Now, if we are threatened in any way, we could just make a trade with Tampa Bay and move to seven, which would put us in fantastic position. We move from 21 to 12, and now we sit, and depending on how the draft plays out, we move to seven. Now, which quarterbacks are going to fall in our, in our lap? Sam Donald. Josh Allen, Josh Rosen, Baker Mayfield, Lamar Jackson, and Mason Rudolph. I would say those are your top six, your big six, however you want to call it. In the top 12 teams, there are maybe five teams that could potentially draft a quarterback. And of the five teams, they are the Browns, the Jets, the Broncos, the Giants and maybe Miami maybe Miami but they got bigger holes to fill so that being said let's do the process of elimination of who goes where and what potentially could drop to us and I think this is where Bean is thinking ahead of the game let's just say it plays out like this Darnold to the Browns Rosen to the Giants Mayfield to the Jets now it's time for Broncos to make a decision and pick. So it either goes two ways. This is where McBean had played played to his strength. Sitting at 12, you could not call the Broncos from 22 to say, hey, do you want to make a trade? They're going to be like, nah, man, you way too far. Now at 12, they're all ears. They're going to listen. So now we have the ability right then and there to pick the quarterback that we want. That's where things get tricky. Instead of being at 22, looking down and being too far away from the action, Brandon Bean set himself up perfectly. Now he's at 12. You're in more of a position of strength to make trades at that position rather than be at 22. Now where things get a little muddy, Darnold. 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 The Browns may go with Darnold or Allen with the way the mocks have been going they're pointing towards Donald going to the Browns so let's just put Donald to the Browns the Giants are up are the Giants trading with the Bills there's a bit of a connection there Gettleman has a connection with Bean maybe the two homies kind of get together and chit chat with each other and say hey let's make something happen because keep in mind the Giants only have five picks so they might be looking to fill more holes on their team so in come the bills and make something happen the advantage with the jets moving to third is now we have leverage if we really really want that number two spot we're taking it the cardinals on the other hand really need a quarterback but guess what four picks and being at 15 that just won't cut it you don't have the draft capital so again position of strength bills so folks let's not panic we're actually in a really good spot at 12. we either a can move up and parlay a deal with gettleman or we can slightly wait for the broncos to make a decision based on where these other quarterbacks go who knows i'm not going to speculate where they go we have six of them that are there 
and only three or four of them will actually be choosing a quarterback. So we're still in a good position. Don't forget, every team has a big board. So we may view Lamar Jackson as the top guy. We may view Rosen as the top guy. We may see Darnold as a guy that's up there. I have a feeling that Allen is the guy the Bills really want. You just never know in these situations. In a nutshell, in a bow, Bills going from 22 to 12, they are in fantastic position. And what makes it even better is that Jets have now shown their hand and says, you know what? We're going to three, we know who we want. We now have one spot to move ahead. And the, and the advantage that we have is the connection between Bean and Gettleman. Keep that in mind. So we can move to two, slide back to five and try to make a deal with the Broncos or sit and chill at 12 and let the pieces fall to us. You just never know how these drafts can go. Mayfield could fall and lands right in our lap. The advantage that we also have is the Cardinals only have four picks. The Dolphins only have six picks. And us, on the other hand, are sitting with nine. So, everybody take a breath. I think we'll be just fine. Let McBean work their magic. Because right now, this is exactly what they're doing. We are in prime position to either pick what we want, take what we want, and make a deal. Or we sit and let all the wolves fight for the scraps. And then we just chill and wait until we get our piece. So, nine picks, we're at the 12th spot, I think we'll be all right. If you guys agree, obviously I want you guys to comment because this is a heated debate, everybody's got their opinion, and I want to hear each and every one of y'all, I, and I'm going to jump into the comments as well. If you guys like this video, subscribe. If you guys like the content that you guys have been seeing on Buffalo Fanatics, share. That's all we love, and that's all we like. Until next time, it's your boy! And I'm gone. Uh -huh.